quarantined comedian. Hi kids, this is Friday Night with Quarantined Comedian. I am your host Ellie Weinstein and I'm wearing this sexy red dress to dazzle, amaze and you know, show off in front of today's guest, Yulia Polanska. A girl who went black and rode that penis into Canada. A lady who is subdued by her cat and an unnecessarily educated woman. You may think I'm using the black penis angle a little too much here, but so does Yulia. Hello, Yulia. Nice to see you on a Friday night. <laughs> Hi. It's, uh, is it Friday? No, wait. Yeah, absolutely. This it's, this show is airing Friday. All, so I, know, it's Friday all now. I know it's morning these days. Like, that's all the information yeah. I keep in my head. Yeah. Are you still, like, absolutely caught in, closed in your house? Uh, yes, they haven't. Uh, there is some talk about lifting uh, some regulations. Apparently, they opened the golf courses in Alberta. Uh, but other than that... Because this is the most important part <laughs> yeah. of Canada. Okay. Yeah, but other than that, uh, we're just still pretty much encouraged to stay home. Oh, okay. Yeah. We are encouraged to stay home, but our government has... Uh, left us without quarantine. I know, I saw that in the news. Today was your first day back out, yeah. right? It's just... I guess it's our first day back in the real Oh wait, life. and isn't today also the day they said we Russia became the second in the world in the numbers? Yes, yes. <laughs> and now you know when we're filming this. That's a very... But it's Friday. In my mind, it's Friday. <laughs> Okay, let's go into the round number one to not get upset and stop crying because I'm already <laughs> crying inside. Shall we? Sure. Round number one, the about. In round number one, I usually ask people on the show to tell about yourself. Tell us about yourself and uh, where are you from? What do you do? What's your style of comedy? Uh, what weird experiences have you had while doing that? Uh, I am, my name is Yulia. I am from a tiny town in the middle of nowhere in Siberia. Uh, it's a place that had bears on the streets, uh, did not have an airport due to a burn down, however, did have the worst road in the country, once even published by a national newspaper, so became famous there for a minute. It was like nominated or did it win it, it, as the it worst won. road in the it country? It won as number one worst road in the country. Uh, the pictures from it became memes. <laughs> it was it was quite a time it. to be alive, yeah. Um, I <laughs> The quarantine pushed me to become a freelance translator and I um, myself love comedy, right? Um, I don't know, I'm an amateur, I do a lot of storytelling, I just talk about like all the weird fucked up shit that's happened to me, starting childhood. I actually, um, I, I'm quite pleased watching you because you've started in our club. I know. And I feel like, kind of a little bit like a proud mama here. <laughs> yeah, you literally <laughs> bullied me into this stage, uh, as my mom usually would. No bullying, no, 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 no. Our channel does not condone bullying. It's, um, <laughs> she's joking, she's a comedian. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I usually also ask in round number one, um, I ask of people to tell a story, and from you I would ask a story about one trip, because you travel a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I well at to. least you've traveled <laughs> a lot before the lockdown. Yeah. Uh, tell us a story about one trip that got you absolutely shocked. Because of people, because of culture, maybe something happened. Just one trip that shocked you. Um, that actually would be a trip, probably like because it's also recent memory, um, from the tour that we did in November. And yeah. uh, there was one... Um, one day that was quite a shock. We were visiting Germany. We just had one of our shows not happen. And we, we missed the train going to Hamburg. And we had this hectic day and then like very few people showed up in Hamburg, only about nine people, but we still had a blast. But later <clears throat> mm -hmm. we were told uh, about the red lights district in Hamburg uh, that was similar to the Amsterdam one. However, no women... I did not know that about Hamburg. 
I know. And it's, it, for a second there, you're like, oh, what a progressive city. That's so cool. But also for Americans, Hamburg is not where hamburgers come from. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, some hamburgers live there. I feel like it's a, it's a... I'm sorry. It's I, a I love to take... It's a justified yeah, disclosure. Like, uh, American education. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so you went to the Red District? Uh, well, yes. Red However, District. I did so violating the rules because no women are allowed in that district, which provoked the same reaction. No way. Yeah, that provoked the same reaction. I was like, what do you mean women are not allowed? They're like, oh, no, no, no. Women are not allowed. It's walled up. It's like a short street. It looks like Amsterdam, Red District. But it's walled up and everywhere it says, like, no women are allowed under no circumstances. So, of course, me being me, I had to go and find out because it was like, well, what happens if I go? And they're like, well, they're going to yell and throw stuff at you. <laughs> because your competition? <laughs> you know <laughs> what? That's the question that bothers me to this day. I'm still trying to figure out this. Um, this I'm sorry, considering Germany is extremely tolerant country, I would assume maybe it's gay red light district. Maybe it's literally not for women. Well, those were all my questions. Point. I was like, what if a woman wants to have some good time? Like, that's discrimination. So we, we, Absolutely. we, we did go. Uh, um, of course, <laughs> I wouldn't go alone. We went with Danton. And, uh, you know, they did... Like, a few steps in, they did start yelling at us, and they did throw vinegar at me. However, I managed to use Denton no as, a, way. as a living shield. So. Like a bottle, or like no, they, they, they sprayed, sprayed it with vinegar? They sprayed it. They, they had it ready. Like, they had it ready in the windows. <laughs> <laughs> the bottles of vinegar. Absolutely. Like I drink vinegar. This is this is what's in my glass, actually. So that was that was It's not sparkly vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So you've escaped, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Um I mean we, we kept walking, we walked through the whole thing. Uh it's a short street, but that was that was quite a shocking experience. <laughs> What type of a fucking shit happens in Hamburg? Jesus. Okay. Um, this is it for round number one. Thank you for that story. Are you ready for the round number uh, two? Yeah. Round number two, truth serum. In a round number two, which one's called truth serum, uh, let's assume you have truth serum in your system. And I have some questions here specifically for you that I wrote, you know, I've I prepare for this stuff. Um, I <laughs> have three questions for you. Please answer them truthfully, yet hopefully funny. All right. Some people say that I, I, I use hopefully there way too much. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because most of the comedians complain that truthfully and funny you doesn't know, usually I go think in my, in my case, hopefully is justified. <laughs> okay. Now, um... Your first question is actually a little bit <laughs> intervened with your um, intro. So, uh, from your show, we know that uh, you are an absolute slave to your cat. That is true. Did you have to ask your superior to do this interview? Or how did you bribe your cat to actually appear on this show and talk about her dominion? Oh my god. Well, we had to spend a lot of quality time this morning preparing for this. Um, <laughs> we did a lot of belly rubs and we did a lot of, um, um, I like just playing around, you know, I mean, like, okay. some time times. massage. Yeah, some, some, some massage. Um, yeah. We also had to have some um, treats. <laughs> An unusually delicious breakfast, yeah. So... How about a cat? Did you get her a cat? A cat? Yeah, like a boy cat. Or is oh, she into girls? I she's, don't judge. she's really not into that stuff, you know? She's, she's asexual. She's only oh, she's into humans. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a weird cross-species um, cross thing. Um, I think so, too. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, I know. Uh, so, okay, your second question is, with your boyfriend, Denton Lamar, who was also on our show, um, I'll put a link to that one somewhere here, uh, you have a brand new show called Blunts and Burners. 
Yeah, we do. I'm extremely interested. What did your Russian mother have to say about you smoking weed? Uh, my Russian mother uh, had absolutely nothing to say, as she does not know about that show's existence <laughs> or the premise it is based okay. on. <laughs> um, so she doesn't know the word blood. Uh, no, most definitely not. I mean, she Betty, she she does or... know about weed, and uh, she she yeah. did change her perception of that a little bit, but she still doesn't know the level of intimacy that I share with that substance. With weed? Yeah. <laughs> so what's the level of intimacy you share with weed? Um, Somehow everything about this interview is turning into weirdly <laughs> sexual shit. It's, yeah, we, we don't have... I should not have worn <laughs> this red dress. <laughs> okay. And there is so, some... Um, how intimate are you with weed? Which crevices of yours have the weed been to? I would say we're in our honeymoon right now. We're we're doing it every you're day. In a honeymoon yeah. Right <laughs> Not all the crevices. I cannot put this song in here. I get demonetized or like kicked off YouTube like this. Um, but you know what song <laughs> I mean. Um, okay, so very intimate. Not all the crevices. As honeymoon is not for all the crevices uh, or holes. Uh, or whatever. Um, okay. And the third one is actually a question that that's a personal pain of mine. Mm -hmm. Because I'll start with my own story. Uh, being a comedian, a female comedian in Russia and then touring, I have been mistaken for a translator, a waitress, a singer, and a groupie. Not in one place, just, you know, different places. By like different a people. groupie for comedians? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just there in a green room drinking my cocktail because I can, because I'm with the boys. Oh my God. And uh, yeah, that was That's fun. funny. That's funny. Um, so what is... I'm sorry. <laughs> That's actually true. That's painfully true. Um, so what is your um, actually I'm a comedian moment? I would assume you had one. I'm a comedian. Oh yeah, I had I had quite a few. Um, as you mentioned, I started in St. Petersburg, which was like this beautiful, uh, open environment with um, amazing people, and that was open-minded people. Open-minded people, <laughs> <laughs> the only ones in the city. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, traveling and especially here in Canada, surprisingly in Toronto which is also um, a very open-minded, a very liberal city, but there aren't that many female comedians here still. So there were times when uh, I was actually asked to pay for a show I came to, to perform. <laughs> so that was... Okay. So that had to be... Um, Did I you have your name on a poster? No, no, it was, it was an open mic. It was an open mic, but... Oh, okay, <laughs> that's nice. Because I've actually, I, I had this moment when I, that was my first city on tour in uh, Scandinavia. And uh, we went there and I had this beautiful long black dress on and my hair were up, it was, was up and uh, my makeup was done and the girl is coming up to me and she's like, so when do you start to sing? And I'm like, you don't want me singing because <laughs> actually my face on this poster like, this is me? <laughs> Can we, like, not? Can we look around? Um, oh, well. I wasn't that bitchy because it was my first show and I was scared shitless. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, did you pay? Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um, this is it for round number two. Awesome. See? Wasn't that painful? <laughs> I also say this awfully a lot but uh, <laughs> um hopefully you've enjoyed that and you're ready for the round number three ready round three classic lightning round okay uh in the round number three i will put the timer on 10 seconds 10 second timer and i will give you a setup to a joke which feel free to finish as you wish but um, in 10 seconds also I feel free to think outside like out loud outside your head and uh, uh, play around. I was actually yeah? going to ask you, uh, is there any way we can uh, switch back to like your original format, like the 
the the whole setup bling him. I just feel like it'd be easier for me. I don't know. No. Oh my god. <laughs> cool. See, she doesn't have a PR manager. <laughs> this is why we have those. <laughs> I demand negotiate this for shit my up rights. front. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready? No. <laughs> Good. <laughs> what do you get when you cross a cat and a wall? And the Ten wall. Ten seconds. Yes. When you get a cat and the wall. I mean, uh, I would say cat rug, but it's kind of cruel, so I cannot say that. <laughs> Especially <laughs> considering I have Two a cat. Two out for you. <laughs> uh, my, my imagination is too literal. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is this your final answer? Because 10 seconds have passed. <laughs> no, it cannot be my final answer. All right, what do you get? If you cross a cat and a wall, what? Uh, a wall that wake you up at seven in the morning with meows. Okay. Peter won't get you. Maybe I'm still putting oh, in no the the first in version. <laughs> How Canada is very tolerant. I'll be prosecuted. Um, <laughs> okay, the second one is there are two types of people in the world. Ten seconds. Oh, God. I, was th I actually thought you were going to tell me. <laughs> no, it's your job. <laughs> there are two types of people in the world. Time. The ones who... Pursue the healthy lifestyle and drink a glass of vodka in the morning, and the ones who disregard their health and welfare. That's a very Russian joke. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. I'm and not apologizing for my roots. You race. swallow up vodka in Russia, vodka swallows up you. It's a <laughs> Russian type joke. See, I know classics. Okay, your last one. Are you ready? Sure. Sure. Okay. So, do you know who Gandhi is? Yes. Good. He's Why did Gandhi he... cross the street? Why did Gandhi cross the street? He was trying to change religion. <laughs> cross and was over. and was praying and was praying for the drivers. Jesus. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a very weird Gandhi image. I'll try not to have anybody Indian watch the show. <laughs> uh, this is it for the round number three. You've actually, you're done with it. Oh my God. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so Happy. <laughs> Happy days theme, roll in. Uh, now you have five seconds to look into your camera and tell our viewers absolutely anything you want to tell them. Shout out, promote, or uh, just send the message out there. Five seconds, you go. All right. Um, stay safe. Stay home. Watch lots of comedy shows. And see you when it's safe to delete TikTok. See? <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. Thank you so much for doing this interview with me. Thank you. I'm actually, I, I'm always having tremendous pleasure whenever I speak to you. And uh, hopefully Aww. we will see each other on your next tour. Absolutely. Likewise. I'm, we're definitely coming back to St. Petersburg on our next tour. I feel like, you know how uh, people in drag and uh, boys in drag, they have mamas that uh -huh. kind of have their drug mothers. I feel like I'm a comedy mother. Oh. Whatever I see you. I'm giving myself way too much credit. You um, always have a special place in my heart. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this and bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. And for you, please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you want to see uh, your favorite comedian on this show, please suggest him or her in the comments down below. My name is Ali Weinstein, and this was Quarantined Comedian. I'll see you next time, and keep yourself together during the weekend. Bye-bye. Quarantined Comedian.